Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nadia Ann and today I'll be talking about my inspirational architect which is Tado Andu. What I have included in my video are Tado Andu's background and architectural style, a few of the projects he did and the awards he received throughout his journey of being an architect. Tado is a self-thought architect whose approach to architecture and landscape was categorized by architectural historian Francesco Dalco as critical regionalism. He is the winner of the 1995 Pritzker Prize. He owns an architect firm which is Tado Ando Architects and Associates. What is interesting about him is that he has a twin brother and at the age of two, his family chose to separate them and have Tado live with his grandmother. He worked as a boxer before settling on the profession of actor, despite never having formal training in the field. Struck by the Frank Lord Wright Design Imperial Hotel on a trip to Tokyo as a second year high school student, he eventually decided to end his boxing career less than two years after graduating from high school to pursue architecture. He attended night classes to learn drawing and took correspondence courses on interior design. He visited buildings designed by re-owned architects like Le Bourget, Ludwig Mies van Vero, Frank Lloyd Wright and Louis Klein before returning to Osaka in 1968 to establish his own design studio, Tado Andro Architects and Associates. As for the architectural style, Ando was raised in Japan where the religion and style of life strongly influenced his architecture and design. Ando's architectural style is said to create a haiku effect, emphasizing nothingness and empty space to represent the beauty of simplicity. He favors designing complex spatial circulation while maintaining the appearance of simplicity. He keeps his Japanese culture and language in mind while he travels around Europe for research. As an architect, he believes that architecture can change society, that to change the dwelling is to change the city and to reform society. The simplicity of his architecture emphasizes the concept of sensation and physical experiences, mainly influenced by Japanese culture. The religious term Zen focuses on the concept of simplicity and concentrates on inner feeling rather than outward appearance. In order to practice the idea of simplicity, Ando's architecture is mostly constructed with concrete, providing a sense of cleanliness and weightlessness even though concrete is a heavy material at the same time. Due to simplicity of the exterior, construction and organization of the space are relatively potential in order to represent the aesthetic of sensation. Tado's Ando Body Works is known for the creative use of natural light and for structures that follow natural forms of the landscape rather than disturbing the landscape by making it conform to the constructed space of a building. Ando's buildings are often characterized by complex three-dimensional circulation paths. These paths weave in between exterior and interior spaces formed both inside large-scale geometric shapes are and in the spaces between them. These are the example of the material he uses, mainly concrete. For the project that he has done, one that attracted me is this, the Rocco Housing Complex. Ando's housing complex at Rocco, just outside Coop, is a complex warrant of terraces and balconies atriums and shafts, the interplay of solid and void, the alternatives of open and closed, the contrast of light and darkness. More significantly, Ando's noteworthy engineering achievement in these clustered buildings is site-specific the structure survived undamaged after the great Hanshin earthquake in 1995. Isn't it amazing? This building survived the earthquake. That shows how particular he is in his design. Next is the Church of Light, 1989. It was built in 1989 in the city of Ibaraki, Osaka Prefecture. The church has an area of roughly 113 meters squared, about the same size as a small house. 
The benches along with the floorboards are made of repurposed scaffolding used in the construction. A cruciform is cut into the concrete behind the altar and lit during the day. Intersection of light and solid, the occupants is meant to become aware of the deep division between spiritual and the secular within himself or herself. Next is the Water Temple, Hugo 1991. The Water Temple is the residence of Minaji Shingon, the, el the oldest sect of Tantric Buddhism in Japan. It's not just a building. It is a sensory experience that represents a radical change in the millenary tradition of building temples in Japan. The temple water is far from the wooden structures of the classic Buddhist temples, but it seems to them by their mystical quality of space. The sensory experience begins when one approaches the tempering among the bushes and trees and see the polished surface of cement barriers that protect the lakes and a long trail of white gravel which initiated the procession purification before entering the sacred place. These are the words that Andus received throughout his journey. As you can see, he had received a lot of awards, but he, his first award was the annual prize, Rohau Sumiyoshi, which he had received in 1979. But the last award he had received recently was the Grand Officer of the Order of the Star of Italy, which he had received it in 2013. Tado Andu quotes with which inspires and brings up the architecture spirit. He said that you cannot simply put you cannot simply put something new into a place. You have to absorb what you see around you, what exists on the land, and then use that knowledge along with the contemporary thinking to interpret what you see. Next, he said that, I don't believe architecture has to remain, has to speak too much. It should remain silent and let nature in the guise of sunlight and wind. And that's all from me. Thank you for watching.